Hey class, today we're going to do the biomolecules project. You're going to be using the biomolecules notes that we've taken in class and the notes that I provided you today to make a poster for biomolecules. Take a look at this rubric right here for the biomolecules poster. For each biomolecule, carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids, you're going to include the following information. You're going to tell me or have a section for carbohydrates, and then you're going to tell me about the monomer for carbohydrates. You're gonna tell me the function of carbohydrates, the chemical structure, the elements that make it up. Remember, cho, cho, chon, and chomp, and examples of where they can be found. In your project, you're going to want to include a definition for dehydration and hydrolysis. You're gonna to wanna to make it look nice by using graphics, maybe some word art, putting in some pictures. You're going to be graded by the rubric on the next page. This will be a formative project. You'll get five points for having carbs, lipids, proteins, nucleic acids, a point for dehydration synthesis defined, hydrolysis defined, and then it needs to be visually appealing for a total of 25 points. You're gonna to wanna to put some effort into this. You can do this on your iPad in Notability by dragging and dropping some pictures, making a poster in there, however you want, or you may use the paper and supplies that are on top of the cabinet with colored pencils and things like that. But it needs to be nice and it needs to look good in order to get all the points. Take a look at this example of the Biomolecules poster project. This one was done on paper Again, you can do it on paper. You can make a Google Slide project. You can use Notability. If you use Google Slides, you'll have one slide for each of these topics. And if you use a poster, you're gonna wanna lay it out like this. So make sure you use the rubric, make a nice poster that shows what you've learned about carbs, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. Um, make it interesting.